Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay and today we are looking at the Bandai Temashi Nations NX Edge style Jukemon. Or as I know him, Gallantmon. So as you can see from the box here, it's a very uh, nice looking figure, a lot of edges. If you don't know, this is the Digimon from Digimon Season 3 or Digimon Tamers. He is like the super duper form of Gilmon, who is like the main Digimon of the series. If you have Denami, maybe you remember him. It's a good looking figure, but you might think, this looks kind of different. He looks kind of small, which is true. So let's get to our size comparison. As you can see, this figure is about 4 inches tall and looks really small compared to Finn and William Regal, but doesn't make him any less of a badass, which we get now to the looks. As you can see, this figure is detailed AF. <laughs> Am I using that right? <laughs> anyway, really good detail. It looks nice. It feels nice. It has a good amount of heft actually. Now, as you can see, there are a lot, as I said, there are a lot of details which you might notice in the figure sculpting. Even on the fists, it's not painted, but it has a, that triangle symbol he has. On the knees, the painting on it is just crazy good. Um, I do fear that it might chip, but it feels like it's a good enough plastic or it's a good enough paint application that it will hold. Moving on from that, let's get to articulation. So we have the figure here and okay, so I didn't put in his shield and lance because that's pretty much just the same with the fists, which is a swivel. So anyway, let's start. So his head is on a ball joint. It goes all of that. There's all of that. Looks up that far and down that far. Um, quick move to the back just so you can see. He has a cape. It's kind of an accessory because it's not part of the figure. You can pull it out, but it goes like that. Okay, pull it around. The arms, um, all right, it, it rolls around that much, but there are a lot of articulation points because the, the pad or the armor here is on a ball joint and the, this shoulder piece actually moves like that. Then the shoulder itself can go out that far and a butterfly swift joint i believe all right so it is packed with a swivel at the bicep and at the elbow a single jointed elbow and a swivel fist as we mentioned from there we move on to his waist so his waist has a swivel there's no ab crunch or anything so yeah it's like that um a legs kind of weird articulation but it does move out that far and back a little bit it's got an angled sort of articulation so if you spread it it doesn't really spread too much just like that but um i, I guess it's not much of a spread anyway uh, moving on the knees single knee joint as you can see and the ankle it's not a ball joint, it's kind of like the up and down thing as well. It moves up and down like that. Um, fair amount of articulation on the figure. It, it is kind of weird, but it does enough poses. And I think all of those points of articulation is meant to, uh, you know, uh, work with the design. Which, as I'm, I've mentioned before, looks really cool. We move on now to the accessories. And boy, this figure has a lot of them. It has the cape, which I showed, the extension to the hair, which I hope you're seeing right now, um, a lance, a shield, and a lance attack effect, which is super dope. You don't really get much of those in any action figure. Plus, you get a stand. Not just any stand. It's a clear plastic stand, which maybe not to everyone's taste, but it also has a stand for the effect piece which is really cool. So not only is it a posable and good looking figure, it also comes with a stand for you to help you make all those cool poses. All right, let's get down to the rating. So what do I rate this figure? Looks wise, quick answer, five out of five. Don't, don't even need to think about it. Um, articulation, unfortunately, 
it's just gonna get a 3 out of 5. It's kind of weird, but it does get the job done. And accessories also getting a 5 out of 5 because it's just a lot. I really do appreciate it. Which boils us down to about a 4 out of 5. If you like Digimon, if you like Gallantmon or Gilmon for that matter, get this figure. Look, even there, it looks really nice, right? Anyway, I've been Jay. This has been the review of the NX Edge style Jukemon. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.